Hey, uh, recently the commander of the United States Air Force in Europe has spoken with the press uh, in uh, an event that happened uh, in early January 2024. And among other things, one interesting thing that he said was that Ukraine was doing some pretty advanced stuff work to the identification and tracking of drones. He admitted that Ukraine is lacking a clear picture of what is happening below the 10,000 feet, about 3,000 meters altitude, and which is pretty much the airspace where most of the drones fly. And this is probably because many of the Ukrainian radar assets have been hit. The NATO AWACS are flying quite far uh, over Eastern Europe and probably they can't reach that low near the front line. And in any case, drones are difficult targets for the raiders because they're small, so small radar cross-section. They move slowly so they may be misidentified uh, like birds and some of them have measures to actually reduce the radar cross-section. So it seems that Ukrainians are trying to track the drones with sound. It is they built a network of sensors near the front line that records the sound and through some computational analysis they identify the drones and triangulate them. Well, I think it's a great idea that now it has been done during a war, so probably is quite a rushed system, but it is a great idea in many respects. I have to say it's not new. Some time ago, we learned that the Russians created an app for their phones can be used to triangulate the sound of the artillery. Probably the Ukrainian went uh, a few steps ahead and created uh, some stations that could be nothing more really than a microphone because you probably need an external microphone. The microphone in the mobile phone is not that good. You probably also need a clear omnidirectional sensitivity. And since the wind can be relevant, you probably need to integrate some meteorological data either with a meteorological station co-located with the sensor or uh, using meteorological data sourced in a different way. And obviously you need communication. I am pretty sure that they're not using the normal uh, LTE, the normal cellular communication, because the Russians tend to spot them very easily and uh, attack them. But probably it's not that difficult to connect a Starlink terminal and uh, make it work this way. The idea of using sound is a great idea because there is a lot of information in the sound of a drone. Pretty much every machine will have its own acoustic signature and probably you can identify the models. The problem will be if both sides are using the same DJI drone, but I'm sure you can do a lot of discrimination just starting from the sound and the computational capability you need is literally fits inside the phone and there is an enormous wealth of expertise in the sound reproduction industry to the way of actually processing the sound and extracting information. So it is a brilliant idea. Why it hasn't been done before? Well, uh, the drones haven't been so pervasive so far, but also it is uh, less effective for conventional aircraft. I mean, it's true, from the sound signature of an aircraft, you can probably extract a lot of information, but the aircraft fly much faster. If an aircraft is flying, say, Mach 0.8, it is actually flying at 80% the speed of sound. That means that it's actually chasing its own sound. So if the aircraft is directed toward the sensor, you lose a lot of range. By the time the sound reaches the sensor, the aircraft will be very close. And obviously an aircraft flying so fast is producing a relevant Doppler effect that may sort of mask or alter the sonic signature of the aircraft. The drones, on the flip side, fly at 10-15% the speed of sound, so you still have a, a good possibility to use the sound for identification with a decent range. Well, I don't have any more details about this system, but I would really be interested to learn more. So, for now we have seen radio stealth, infrared stealth, maybe in the future we are going to see sound stealth as well. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next long episode.